do you want to see this turquoise blue water and what about exotic animals that you have never seen before but also i guess you don't want to end up in the middle of the island without any way of going back then i really suggest you watching this video so maybe you can learn from my mistakes when i visited islas mujeres Hello curious gang, it's your London friend Vasi that of course lives in London together with her boyfriend Ben and together we love traveling and giving you useful tips. Back to our day at Islas Mujeres, well this was not really planned but while I was at the gym at 5am casually because you know jet lag. Two hours later. I remember that I read this article about a cool place very close to Cancun. Yes, I'm talking about Islas Mujeres. And I just thought, well, why not? What is the worst thing that can go wrong? What could happen? Mine is called Chocolate Dream because, you there's know, chocolate. you know, because there's chocolate. And mine's called Peanut Butter Dream, I guess. No, no, it wasn't. Mi nombre es Miguel Ángel. Tocaré un poco en lo que llegamos a Isla Mujeres. Right after we arrived, we saw that everyone has one of these golf carts, but surprise, surprise, we thought we are better off walking because we thought the island isn't that big, but this was actually our first and one of the biggest mistakes we made, but we'll get into this later. Of course, we're literally the only people walking in here because everyone else has like this type of golf cars, but it's okay. We we love walking. Hello, hello guys. So we sat down literally at the first, okay, not the first, the second coffee place that we found in here. And I ordered espresso, but they told me that they don't have it in here. They have only Americano, which I find a little bit odd. Maybe I'm too European for here. This thing was like 50 peso, which is like roughly two pounds. And it's huge. Yeah. It's literally gigantic. Yeah, I don't look at that. It's twice my head basically. And it's really, really fresh. Mm. And huge. The fresh coconut was definitely our best find in the whole island and I have to say if we had one of these golf carts most probably we wouldn't have stopped and we would like just miss on those small little details. And at this point we were quite tired from all the walking so we decided to grab something to eat and we went to this mango cafe which now that I'm looking for it, it actually has 5 out of stars on TripAdvisor and I can confirm it was pretty delicious so definitely suggest it to you.
and we continue strong walking because we don't give up but I have to tell you yeah maybe like renting one of these golf carts might be the best decision for you it depends on how much time you have I think if you want to like visit the island you know and stop by every like five meters to try the coconut or to check out the supermarket you know you might as well just walk but like if you're in a hurry you can just take you know but it takes I'd say like 15 minutes to go to like you know the extreme points of the island by with the golf cart yeah. Whereas for us, it's like, if we cut out the stops, it's like one hour walking. Yeah. One hour later, and lots of sweat and steps later, we made it to the beach, but we were so tired that we just laid under one palm tree and didn't move from there for a couple of hours just to recover. So we'll try to do something interesting for the first time because you know how I told you that this place is really not for pedestrians. So on our way back to the station, we'll try hitchhiking and we'll try to get at like one of the golf carts because we noticed that most of the times they're usually two people and uh, there are four seats on them. So maybe we'll be lucky. Yeah, maybe not exactly the one that passed, but we can try another one. Guys, I have to tell you, literally the first people that uh, we asked, they stopped and yeah, it, was, it was just great. I'm really, really happy. I think it's pretty risk-free as most of the people, like, I mean, not most, literally everyone in those golf carts uh, is actually another tourist. We were also super lucky because these lovely people dropped us exactly where we needed to go at the downtown of the island where you can find the central market and also the central beach which you can see that the weather this day was not great but the water was still so clear. is to go to there but we have to go like like that from there to there to there to the hotel and then pew! unfortunately we cannot reach our goal today because as it happens actually quite often in here this is a private property so it is part of the hotel and you cannot go to there Oh well, anyways, let's like keep on going around the island until basically we make a huge circle. <gasps> oh my god, isn't this the biggest iguana you have ever seen? I was actually a little bit afraid of filming it, so I asked Ben to do it, but now I'm reading that iguanas are not dangerous or aggressive to humans, so even if you see one, yeah, don't panic like me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one, but don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all! Bye!